So here's something you've never seen before. Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. If the hat didn't give it away, if uh, George Washington or the the Steeler back there didn't give it away. If this doesn't give it away, well, you'll figure out soon enough where I'm at. But I'm gonna show you guys something in this video today that you've never seen before, ever. There's snow. It's cold. Uh, comment down below if you're one of those folks that knows exactly where we're going right now. We got Duran here driving the thing, and uh, you guys haven't seen Duran before. You don't watch the channel. Up, religiously but that's Duran visual variant he's he's the man in the vehicle and uh, I mean if I'm being completely honest I've never seen this before it's a it's a heated steering wheel which is oh yeah we don't have that fanciness in California yeah need I guess need is a, is a need thing <laughs> we're going and I've I've seen what I haven't seen before already which you would think I would have seen something like that before but no I had plenty of heated seats never a heated steering wheel though all right we're gonna do it we're gonna show you guys something you've never seen before. I can play twice as high. Hey. Look at where we are. I didn't know. Look, there's, there's a car. I didn't know it was on the street. I didn't know it was right on the street. Couldn't tell from the videos. Um, oh, it's snowing. This is so nice. <laughs> Alright, so right when you walk in the door, right in the front door, is what you see. And then over here, this must be where Garrett sleeps when he's in trouble. And then if you walk the other direction, there's a cages, enclosures, and enclosures, and enclosures, and enclosures, and enclosures, and Rob! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> um, I can't smell poo. I wouldn't say that I smell poo, but I smell definitely that? smell pee. Oh, that was me. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't the retail. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, we got something, we were on a mission. Oh. Oh, I should probably change the white balance in here. There we go. That's much better. I'm on a mission on this video. Like, I'm, I'm totally down. What are we doing? I knew, I knew you were down. So you guys might get what you're asking for, or what I'm promising. Like we, we. I think <laughs> if, I, told, I said this. Yeah, I said this right. I said, I said, if anybody can deliver on this, it's gonna be Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Hold on. You didn't tell. I didn't tell you what it was yet. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter now. I'm doing it. <laughs> I mean, we all know the answer to that already. <laughs> I think for both of us. <laughs> it's whether or not we want to, it's, it's you know, Doesn't it's, it's matter. the willingness. So, number one question, why did you do it, Rob? I well, didn't want Brian to do it by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Because I can. Such a, <laughs> such a good guy. It's sterile. It's good guy. Good. So, well, first of all, but I guess before we get to that, when we, oh, look, you guys got snakes called snowflake. I saw real snowflakes, and I see snake snowflake. Oh. Hello, snowflake. I feel like Oscar might be a more appropriate name for this snake. Because <laughs> of all the green? No, just because of the trash can he lives in. <laughs> <laughs> Who says you need to hook train retics? Come on. <laughs> I don't even know what a hook is. So this is snowflake. I can see why you call snow. Look at these nice, bright, white spots all up and down the side. The rosettes are... Stark white. I don't know if the camera's showing. I don't know if I got the white balance exactly right, but the white on the side of this snake is definitely white, and that's clearly where. Good catch, Duran. Clearly where this snake gets his or her name. Okay, so I know you're working. I'm sorry. Oh, what, what? 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 This isn't working. What is the coolest thing here for you? Me. Okay, that was really fast. Oh, Duran. 
Me, you, or Duran. It's Any just one a th of us. Three way tie. Three way. Okay, but that's not what the video is about. But that was what okay. I figured we should go for first, since I, <laughs> I don't want to deliver too fast. <laughs> nice and easy, right here. I just happen to have her out. Oh, sweet. Do I want to guess? Um, I'm gonna guess that that is a Kalatoa. Um, no. No. Okay. Then my next guess <laughs> You're is. You're on the right track, though. Um, it's a locality. Yes, it looks like a locality. I'm gonna say Karampa. Boom. Yeah. Got it, buddy. So what? Why would I have mistooken that for Kalatoa when it's a Karampa? Uh, the back pattern is similar in the middle of the body. Uh, I believe that the, Kala, or the Karampas have three different kinds of pattern. The neck, the body, and then the tail. They're all usually three different types of patterns. And the body on these look a lot like a Kalatoa. Are the, are the Karampas always brighter in color? This girl's just fired up, but okay. yeah, I believe they have a little bit more yellow to them. Okay, that was the one thing that was throwing me off. I was like, it looks like a Kalatoa that's bright. Yeah, she's fired up right now. Somewhat. <laughs> she gets better, believe it or really? not. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, those are some good-looking snakes, dude. Yeah, so you see what I'm talking about? Like, the middle part of the body is very similar. And I think that's what you were looking at. Yeah, I think so, too. Because I know you're a professional. Um, I, mm. I'm a professional at fooling people that this is a full-time gig. It's funny because we were at dinner with Garrett and he was saying that uh, when he hired you, he was like, there's only like two days of work here. And then, and then, and then, and then he, you proved him wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the second week I was like, uh, is overtime cool? Definitely gorgeous snakes. I think it's all me. <laughs> Startle himself. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so the, so all right. I now I'll get to the real truth. Okay. What we're looking for here is something that no one has ever seen. Well, I lost a snake when we first moved in here. If we can find it. <laughs> okay. I well, I'm I'm saying something no, some something someone's something. God love it. Something okay, no can. one has seen. <laughs> no one. That's really why I thought that you had. <laughs> That's a pure jam pair. Comment down below if you know what Fifi means. <laughs> I work here and I don't know what it means. <laughs> you don't know what Fifi means, Rob? Not, uh, its name? You don't know what a Fifi is? I know that its name's Fifi. <laughs> what is a Fifi? Who named it Fifi? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Here's something something everybody's seen before. It's Garrett getting his guests to do his work for him. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen that before. <laughs> been here for like I mean, it, minutes, unless you watch this video right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I haven't put one of those up in a long time. You're welcome. So when Michael Juarez was here, I'm sure many of you don't know who I'm talking about. Now that I said it that MJJ. way. <laughs> they both agreed that Garrett and him both agreed that. Oh, house snakes are a lot like Antaresia. I was watching the video, just like you morons. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, Look at that. If I showed you just that head right there, you might guess it was Antaresia. If you show me just that head, I might think it was a corn snake. Whatever. Look at this. Look at that head. That is like a little python head. And I know you said, oh, they're like Burmese pythons. I think they're more like Antaresia. They're not not quite as heavy bodied. But all right, now that I'm standing here in front of one moving around and you pull out the red one. Okay, well, there's the red one. So let's look at the more spotted ones and see if they look like maybe a spotted python, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. You got that on camera. 
I mean, I definitely got it on the camera. You did get it on me, so good job. <laughs> Crash my drone, spitting water all over my camera. We're off to a great, it's gonna be a great video. All right, this one's younger, so it hasn't have its like big beefy python cheeks yet, but look at the pattern and color on that. That looks like Antaresia. Yes, it definitely does. I mean, it looks exactly <laughs> like Antaresia. All right, I'm wrong, you guys are right. I'm not too big wait, of a wait, man, wait, wait, wait. or I'm big enough of a man to admit it. Morphs, yay! If you ever wanted to know, what a nice albino Antaresia would look like in a like a caramel albino. You can see this girl, who now that I'm looking at her, looks like she's about to lay or possibly is egg bound. Wow, so I'm gonna about to lay, huh? Wow. Doesn't she? Yeah, that's great. There's I mean, but just, right there. just for how big she is, they're small, huh? Yeah. Okay, they still do, all that did look like it was trying to be a, an albino granite Burmese python a little bit. Because <laughs> I always thought they'd look like Burmese pythons were trying to be corn snakes. And that's why I thought you guys were wrong. But now I'm standing here again, I am wrong. Okay, all right. Let me show you some, these are the bigger ones. So these are, again, these are capes, but these ones are from New London, Eastern Cape. So they're still Cape Hensis, but it's a different locality. So they have more of a stripe and not the spots. So the exact same uh, species of house snake as the, the spotted one we just showed. But they also have these striped localities which again, you don't really see that in Antaresia. So I'm not trying to take anything away from Antaresia. I'm just saying that these are like Antaresia plus diversity, plus a multitude of different species. So that's that's a big full grown capensis. They definitely smell like colubrids. Dude, so you said something that was making me think, that reminded me of what this video is supposed to be about, is um, showing people something they've never seen before. Oh, you're, you wanna see like new? <laughs> Morphs of these or something. All right, here, look. I don't know. Here's another, a totally separate species. This is actually a Tanzanian striped. So not to be uh, confused, like there's a lot of people that sell things as striped house snakes, but these are their own distinct species. But I guess if you wanted to see something you haven't seen before, so in house snakes, there's a couple different types of albinos. You haven't seen before? I just showed you that, that albino when I pulled that bright red thing out. That's a T positive albino. Then there's a T negative albino. This is what they call it, but the T negative albino and the T pause, they both have like normal eyes, like green eyes. So they're more like caramels or something like that. They're not like the true, true albino. So here's something you've never seen before. It's an entirely new bloodline of albino house snake that you literally cannot get anywhere yet because it's in development. The first, look at those eyes. The first actually kind of like true amelanistic. Focus. Focus, Brian, focus. So this is actually called a bush veld albino. And it's pure capensis. A lot of the albinos you see in the pet trade, people don't realize the difference between like capensis and phalaginosis and they do crosses and stuff, which is yucky. But this is pure capensis, true albino. It's in development now. There's only a handful of these out there that exist. That's not something that's allelic or anything to the other albinos. It's its own, its own whole deal. I got to hand it to you, Mr. Hartle. Um, I came here thinking that when I, I was gonna have to rely on Rob doing something, uh, who knows what, to get people to be able to see something they've never seen before. Yep. I didn't know that it was gonna actually be delivered in snake form, which is obviously, you know, ideal. You're welcome. But yeah, thanks. Come thanks. back next week, I'll have another one that you've never seen before. <laughs> but, uh, ouch. Oh. <laughs> If you guys want the full tour, Garrett's done one on his channel already, so I'll link that video down below. You can see the full tour of the entire place that's not done yet. But thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you really did see, we did actually see something that nobody's ever seen before. Nobody's seen that snake before. Nobody ever in the world. No pictures online anywhere. So we did it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you then. Aloha. Woo.